Hey, Jerry, Luis Hernandez from WBIR in Knoxville. Uh, how did your time uh, as a head coach at an HBCU like Central shape your philosophy and who you are uh, as a coach? Well, it was an amazing opportunity. I got an opportunity to be over the entire show from top to bottom, you know, offense, defense, special teams. As a head coach, you have to be basically the CEO of a program. You have to be really in tune to what's going on. So that helped me on my next journey to be a co-coordinator. So, you know, the, the people got smaller or the situation got a little bit smaller because now you're just dealing with one side of the football as opposed to the entire team. But I think just from an organization standpoint, just from a discipline standpoint, and just from having a macro perspective on how everything work, works together, Together, really helped me a ton. David Ogden did Blake Top Hunter. Uh, yeah, what, what made you want to leave a head coaching job and then go into a coordinator spot? And can you kind of walk us through that decision and then kind of how that leads to right now? Yeah, it was an opportunity to work with a lifelong friend. I think in this profession, anytime you get a chance to be around a group of men or a person that was one of your mentors or is one of your mentors in a situation where we had been actually hoping to work together for so many years, I think I couldn't pass up on that opportunity to try to help a friend help build a program. And that's what I was trying to do when I took that opportunity to go to Rice, is try to help Coach Bloomgren build a great program like they had at Stanford University. And I think my three years there were well spent. I really think we were heading in the right direction and helping him get that program off the ground. And Jared, Blake Topmeyer of Knoxville News, and most of this, this offensive staff was, was with Josh at, at uh, UCF. Um, how did you kind of fit into this thing, and, and uh, you know, where, is, where does your relationship with, with him date back to? Well, you know, it's a strange situation. You know, Coach gave me a call probably the beginning of a couple of weeks ago, and he was looking for a person with a, a diverse background. And my background has been in a pro-style system, has been in a spread system, and then also great ties to the state recruiting. And not only just the state recruiting, also just the Southeast and part of the United States recruiting. That's where a lot of my connections and a lot of my relationships are built. So I think it was just a perfect fit. You got a young person, a person that's really, uh, really in tune to a little bit different styles of offense, been all over the, all over the country, but also too, just from a perspective as relationships within the Southeast part of the country has been really good. As a former offensive coordinator, someone who studies offense, had you had much opportunity to evaluate which, what Josh does offensively? And I guess, you know, from the outside looking, what were your impressions of, of what he was doing with his system at Missouri and at UCF? Oh, wow. High octane and explosive. I think anybody, any young person in the country wants to be a part of an offensive system like this, a system that you know at any given point in time, any time of the game that you're going to be able to put up points. So everywhere I've been, I've always studied Coach Hypo systems and, and I had a chance to really now get into nuts and bolts and how everything kind of comes together. And it's really just amazing. It's just amazing, his mind and how those guys uh, in the room mind work because they've been in the system a long time. So I'm excited about getting an opportunity to really lo to learn and grow and all those different things that they bring to the table and just add my my input whenever I'm asked or you know if I got a little different way of doing some things or terminology some things then that's really been good as well so I'm looking forward to as we continue to grow this thing it's just what we're going to be able to put together. Brent Hobbs and Jimmy Himes. Coach Brent Hobbs with uh, Rivals and Ballquest.com you talk to the staff what made it feel like the right fit personality-wise, as you mentioned, you, you made the move to Rice because of the relationship you had there with the coach. What, what made this move uh, the, the right move for you now from a personality standpoint? Well, you know, we're in a different world right now with the Zoom sessions and doing interviews through Zoom. I uh, had a chance to call around. You know, this is a very, it's a big business, but it's a small business when you really get down to the nuts and bolts because a lot of guys have worked together or had relationships built with other people that you know. So getting a chance to talk to some of my colleagues in the profession and just getting a chance to hear about Coach Heupel and, and the staff and Coach Golish and just how great they were to work with, just their family men, the type of men that you want to be associated with, the type of men that you want to be involved with. And that really kind of weighed my decision. And obviously the opportunity to come to the SEC and work at the University of Tennessee, me, me, me being from the state of Tennessee, I also knew what kind of program this was. But when you get a chance in this profession to work with the people, because it's all about the people in the building when it's all said and done. And I think the people in the building are what's really important. And that's what, one thing that kind of swayed my uh, way to kind of head this way. Coach Jimmy Himes with Sports Radio in Knoxville. Running backs come in all different shapes, sizes, speed, power bank, and so forth. What are you looking for in a running back? Uh, I'm looking for some diversity. Uh, a young person that we can 
actually flex out a person that's really good from a protection standpoint that's going to be really huge to make sure our quarterback is upright as much as possible. And then also, too, the ability to create. I'm looking for guys that can create their own, own plays, and sometimes I like to use the term BYOB, be your own blocker. It's going to be really important that our running backs are able to run through arm tackles. The tempo that we play at and the speed that we play at is going to have opportunities to get those one-on-ones in space with certain defenders. And I need guys that can make those safety miss. I need guys that can make those linebackers be elusive and make those linebackers miss. And I think we're on the right guys right now from a recruit standpoint. Not only that, I think just watching the film from practice and games from last year, we got some people in the building that's really dynamic with the ball in their hands. And also, do you subscribe to the theory of rotating your running backs to keep them fresh? I do. Uh, I think obviously the best person is going to play and start off the game. But one thing we're going to try to make sure we do, guys are going to earn the right to play. That's the biggest thing that I can tell you right now in our room. Uh, we're making tries toward that right now, not only on the field, but off the field, holding guys accountable, but you will earn the right to play. And I have in the past played with a few different backs, you know, different styles of back, different run schemes, blocking schemes, present a situation where you may need a different back in a certain situation. Uh, situational football plays a big part of that uh, as well. Mike Wilson and Austin Price. Yeah, Jerry, Mike Wilson from the Knoxville News Sentinel. You're a, a Memphis guy who's coached at Memphis and from that area. How, how important is that connection and, and your ability to recruit a, a very talent-rich area of the country? Uh, very important. Uh, you know, I'm at that age now where a lot of my former classmates or a lot of people that I knew growing up in the city of Memphis, they all have children or, or children right now that are going into their senior year of high school or they're going to be graduating from high school here in the next couple of years. So, you know, just getting back, getting back into that part of the state has always been a hotbed. There's always, you know, several players that are Power 5 football players, SEC football players from that part of the country in this state. Uh, and, and it's really important for me to get back over in that area and build those relationships and continue to develop those relationships. I have strong ties. My parents still stay in that area. I have aunties and uncles that all stay in that part of the country. So really getting, getting a chance to get back there and reform, rekindle some past relationships and keep building on the relationships that I already built uh, are going to be really big for, for me in recruiting. Hey, Coach Austin Price with the ballquestandrivals.com. When, when you were kind of deciding on whether to take this job or not, did you kind of doing a deep dive on some of the guys they had on the roster or the end of the guys, somebody you were familiar with in recruiting. And then two, since you've gotten your gift, you kind of had a chance to watch some tape because you do kind of have a diverse room as far as like guys that, you know, like Dean Beckwith who is like 6'3 and well over 200 pounds or Jabari Small who's more short and compact. I mean, you got kind of some diversity there. Yeah, I, I think that's that's really been big for me. Just looking at before I came here, just looking at our room in general, the big back style, the the shorter, smaller, compact, shiftier guy, and that's what's going to be really big when I talked about the diversity of the room and the diversity of this offense, being able to plug and play different guys in certain situations. That did was a big deciding factor as well. Anytime you get a chance to go to a certain place, you want to look at the roster, you want to see what the opportunity and what the chances are that they have some young people that's going to give you an opportunity to be successful, and that's what I did. I looked at the roster. I looked at what was coming back, even though we had a couple of guys transfer. But I'm still excited, extremely excited about the room that we have right now. Don't want to call out any names because I don't want to miss anybody. But I do think it's headed in the right direction. And these guys, with what I've seen from just the things that we've been doing so far, they're going to have an opportunity to be special. Right, thanks, Coach, for joining us. No problem. Thank you, guys.